Hi guys, this is Tammy. So, I posted a picture the other day about using drywall mesh as transfer tape when I'm doing tumblers, mugs, um, glasses, and you guys asked a lot of questions about them and wanted to see a demonstration, so I'm going to show you how I do it. This is drywall mesh. I got it at Home Depot, I think, for less than $5, but you can get it at Walmart, um, Lowe's, any home improvement store, and I believe this is called Fibba Tape or Fibba Tape. So it comes in a roll, and I just cut out the size that I needed. Um, I already knew that I needed this size, and I already used this twice. And I made these two cups earlier. And one of the members had suggested as a tip to put water into the glasses so that all of your glasses um, has the same height when you're doing um, the wording or whatever. So I tried it and it worked great. So I'm going to do these also. So I just poured the water in. So I know that when I do my transfer, I'm going to line it up to that line. So when I do the drywall mesh, I'm going to use these bottom lines as a grid. I'm going to line the very bottom line with the very bottom of my font. There we go. So now I know that that's going to be straight. Then I just take a squeegee, I turn it over, and I burnish on the other side because if I do it on the top with the mesh, then it kind of falls apart. So I just take it and I run it across going from the center out on each side. So from the center to the left, center to the right, center to the left again, and then center to the other side. That way I know that it's going to get a really good uh, varnish on it, or burnish I should say. Then I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to pull it apart. And like I said, I've already used this uh, mesh twice, so it might not be as sticky as it was before. And if it's not, that's okay. I just take it back down and rub it down some more. And then pull it apart. Now it's transferred. Now I'm going to line up my water line with the bottom of my word juice and I'm just going to use that grid line to line it up and then I'm going to rub it down. I always start from the center and work my way out So the bottom one first because that's what I use to line it up and then rub out from the center and make sure it's on there really good. And then just grab whichever end of the mesh feels comfortable to you and then just pull it apart. There you go. Now I'm going to do the other one. Line up the bottom line again. And it doesn't matter if you have part of the letter hanging out on the outside because the main part of the lettering is under the mesh so that will come up too. You just want to make sure that you get like your your dots or the little ones underneath the mesh. Turn it over again. And even when you're using regular transfer tape or transfer paper you always want to start from the middle and work your way out. line up the bottom again
And then this is probably going to be the last time I'm going to use this little strip because you can see it's starting to fall apart. So the reason why I like this is because it has a lot of give. So you can manipulate your image on your cup. So even if you use the wet method and just spray some um, dish soap with water solution onto your cup and then line it up, you have a little bit more give. So, but that's a whole different technique. So I hope you found this helpful and useful and let me know how you guys do. Okay, thanks.